Red Mage is one of those jobs that didn't change too much, but it still looks ver fabulous. Now, Square Enix sponsored me to go check out the test build of Shadowbringers, so everything you're gonna see in this video is subject to significant change. This is Red Mage, this is its new relic, its new fancy hat, and its new little cape over its shoulder, and its big old boots. It still has Vercure. That was one of the things I checked right away. Uh, in fact, Vercure has this really cool new ability that it just DCs you. So uh, don't pay too much attention to my bar because I ended up putting double abilities on some places. Uh, you could see their uh, T and Shift T actually look exactly the same as Ver Arrow and Ver Thunder because they are. Uh, it turns out that when you go into your melee combo and finish the three of them, Ver Holy and Ver Flare just take over Ver Arrow and Ver Thunder. Alright, so here I'm just going to do the uh, melee combo. The one, two, three. That is unchanged. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid and I was using the new enchanted reprise. Uh, this is actually a ranged attack. Uh, Larry in the past at the Mediator is stupid and it was using that at melee range because he thought it was a, a melee attack at melee range. So it's kind of used for movement, similar to Black Mage Scathe. It's 300 potency and uses only a little bit of your mana. Uh, you could also use it as some kind of like a black and white mana dump if you need to fix it somehow. There's also a new ability you can use instead of displacement. It shares a cooldown timer with it. It's right here, engagement. So if you don't want to be pushed back, you can use engagement instead of displacement. It's a little less potency. I think it was like 50 potency less, but at least that way you can still use something in, in the certain fights where if you were to displacement, you would fall off or you would fall into fire and die a horrible death. Uh, I think the guy next to me there was Drac. So here I am finally doing the three-part melee combo. You could see Ver Arrow and Ver Thunder were just replaced by Ver Holy and Ver Flare. And now it unlocks my new cool ability, Scorch. And Scorch just replaces Jolt. And there it is. It is a 700 potency spell, so it's kind of a big one. And uh, that's really it as far as uh, single target rotation goes on Red Mage. It didn't change too much. They just, you know, added a little bit and added a little bit extra, uh, you know, snazzy, fancy stuff. The really big change that happened was the AoE rotation. Uh, Red Mage actually has an AoE rotation now. Uh, I didn't notice it because when I was testing it out and putting all the abilities on my bar, the two new AoE spells are the same exact name as the single target ones, so I didn't realize that they're two new things that I needed to put on my bar. But there's Ver Arrow and Ver Thunder AoE versions. Um, I'm assuming in the official release they're going to have some kind of different name, so we'll see about that. But basically the AoE rotation is going to look like you'll do a Ver Arrow AoE followed by Impact. So Impact is no longer a proc, Impact is a long cast AoE spell. So you'll use your dual cast on Impact now. So you'll do the Ver Arrow and then Impact and then the Ver Thunder AoE and then Impact. And then you're gaining black and white mana pretty quick doing this, so you're going to be able to do your enchanted Moulinets. So that's definitely a really big change that I was hoping for with Red Mage. I desperately wanted it to have a cool AoE rotation, and now it finally does. So yeah, that'll do it for me on Red Mage. I'll see you guys in the next ones. Go check out my other Mediator video coverage. I am DC. Bye.